that you can eat now. Yeah. Do you have some? Yeah. Here, eat it now. Mmm! Mm. How does it taste? Mmm! It tastes so good. Do you know what kind of mangoes are you eating? I'm eating caramel mangoes or Philippine mangoes. Okay. It tastes so sweet and juicy and delicious. Like I use bread. mangoes for making the mango float. So this is what you're going to prepare and share to your viewers today. Okay. And your mango float is different. It has a, it has a healthy twist. I use honey and honey. Uh, flax seeds. Wow, that's interesting. Is it your first time to prepare mango float? Not really because I usually help my mom make one for the whole family. Wow. So what are the healthy twists in my recipe? First, we'll add brown Ooh. flax seeds into the cream mixture. With milk and honey. Mm. The honey will give the natural sweetness to this dessert. Third, we will add more mm. ripe mangoes to make it taste with its natural sweetness. With this recipe, we can pamp our sweet tooth and savor this delectable dessert mm. without feeling guilty. I'll say dessert isn't all that bad. Let's just make it a good practice to eat it in moderation to avoid this extra oh. weight that we get. Before we start the ingredients, please allow me to share some awesome health effects I learned about these ingredients. Flux seeds, it is a plant-based food, mild in flavor, that is high in omega-3 fatty acids, fiber, and antioxidants. They can be eaten with cereals, sandwiches, added on yogurt, and baked goods like cookies and bread. Honey, it is a healthy natural sweetener, as it also a good source for antioxidants. Mango, the main ingredient for this dessert. It is a low-color fruit that is high in fiber, a great source of vitamins A and C, and a good source of antioxidants. So here are the ingredients. 5 to 6 medium-sized Philippine caramel mangoes, 1 by 200 grams high graham crackers, 2 by 250 ml all-purpose cream, 1 cup fresh milk, 1 cup honey, 1 half cup ground flax seed, and we'll be needing the following utensils, rectangular or square glass dish, mixing bowl, measure cuts, large spoon, scoop, whisk, chopping board, serrated knife, ideal for cutting the mangoes with a hard skin and soft blades, others, blender, strainer, scissors, cake cutter. Let's start with the preparation of the ingredients. The all-purpose cream must be chilled overnight in the fridge or in the freezer for 30 minutes. Grow flex seeds. Nutrients. Try to flex it with a water or pestle or use a blender or food processor. So ground flex seeds for 10 minutes in warm water or at least 2 hours in cold water. Although some prefer to soak them overnight. What's the mango? The flesh of mango can either be sliced or diced. But since the flesh is slippery, I prefer to dice it, which is a safer way to cut it. Hold the mango securely on a chopping board. Cut the small slice on both ends. Let the mango sit on one end, with the stand end upwards. Position the knife adjacent to the center of the stand end to cut most of the flesh. Slice off the sides or the cheeks of the mango, downward from top to the bottom. Cut the two sides off. I will set aside one the flesh lengthwise. 
Make your parallel lines under my Gucci. Cut crosswise around half inch apart. Create a cross patch pattern. Be careful not to cut the the mango skin. Hold the score in mango tea. Use a spoon to scoop out the flesh of the mango from the skin. Scrape off the remaining flesh. If you're finding the mango tea slowly to hold, use a paper towel to hold it in place. Better yet, I will ask my mom to help me cut the rest of the mangoes. Good idea, right? Prepare for the cream mixture. In a bowl, combine the all-purpose cream. Milk and honey. Use a whisk to beat the mixture for few minutes until blended. Wow! <laughs> Drain the water from the flex seeds, then add into the cream mixture. Wait for a minute or more to blend. Now we are ready to arrange the layers of mango float. First, spread a thin layer of the cream mixture on the bottom of the dish. Next, add the layer of graham crackers, followed with another layer of cream mixture. Then lay the mango cubes. Turn with the cream mixture and spread evenly. Repeat these steps up to three layers of green crackers. Mango cubes, cream mixture. Green crackers, cream mixture. And with a layer of cream mixture and mango cubes. Refresh the ring in first for at least a few hours. For the mango flow to be chilled, can we quickly talk about your activities last Halloween? I joined the ASP Paranaki Virtual Halloween Party on October 25. In our virtual get together on October 28. Wow! Okay, so what activities you had? We had games. Can you uh, tell me about the games? Name the cartoon characters. Name the images that relate to Halloween. Spider make it with tissue paper. I want third place. Where's your spider? There's the spider. Go get it. Ah! So cute! Very nice! And what's the last game? What do you call it? Longest greeting! Let us test that. Can you do the longest greeting for me? Very good! Okay! What else happened? ASP sent me treats and chocolates and cookies. Thank you ASP for the treat. Okay, so are you going to share it with the family? Not so much. It's fine. Oh, 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 that's fine. Thank you for talking. Thanks. Thank you. I think we are ready to try your mango float. You may take it out from the fridge. Okay. Okay? Alright, go. If you find my video useful and you think it may inspire someone you know, please feel free to share it. To support my advocacy, implementing the social value of special needs kids like me, please click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Awesome Gem, and watch out for more inspired videos. If you have any questions or would want to give some suggestions, please type them in the comment section below. I would love to read them and reply back to you. I may be different. Me. This is Jerry Ray saying, let's spread love and have it out.